Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria, we are talking about lichen sclerosis here. In today's video I will tell you about my routine with lichen sclerosis. If you haven't seen my story of fighting with lichen sclerosis, I will put the link in the description of this video down below. In short, yes, I do have lichen sclerosis myself. That's why I started this channel. I had a feeling that there are a lot of people with lichen sclerosis who don't even know that they have it and who can't find enough of support or enough of information. And that's why in today's video I'll tell you all about my Routine with lichen sclerosis. Lichen sclerosis can make your life unbearable, but it is your task to bring your life back to you. My routine is very simple. Your routine can be absolutely different from what I use. Let's get started. A little disclaimer here, this video wasn't sponsored by any of the mentioned products and companies. Let's start with the period products. It is important because lichen sclerosis tends to worsen during your periods. What I use and what I recommend to use is pads with cotton lining or pads with very, very soft surface. So what I use is always sensitive. It has a very nice and soft lining and doesn't cause irritation. This product goes in several sizes. Three is for night, two is, I guess, for the everyday use, and size number one is for everyday use as well, but for less heavy periods. As any always pads, they are very good in holding liquid inside them. They also come without wings if you don't like wings, so this is a very good product. Also always have this purely cotton pads. It's more expensive than always sensitive, but if you want a natural cotton leaning, then these are for you. The next period product is Always Infinity. These pads are really flexible. They also come in different sizes and they protect from the leakage very well. What makes them different from any other pad is that they have this foam inside them that holds liquid better. Of course, because of this new technology, Always Infinity's price is higher than any other Always product, but still it is worth it. So if you are going to an event where you're sure you won't be able to find a ladies room, this option is for you. Next thing that I used every day for three years is Tacrolimus. It costs per topic 0.1%. Tacrolimus is an immune suppressant which will suppress your symptoms of lichen sclerosis like burning and itching. It will also moisturize your skin because it's a Vaseline-based ointment. It really helped me to maintain normal quality of life as much as it was possible in my situation for three years before I had PRP shots. As you know, I already had three PRP shots and I'm waiting for half a year up to nine months to pass to get another one session of PRP to manage my symptoms and get the disease under control. So after the PRP session, my gynecologist gave me this serum growth factor. It calls Nuvia Advanced Care System Rejuvenation Rose Gel, but amongst gynecologists, they call it serum growth factor. You can find it on any cosmetics website in Europe. This is also used for aesthetic medicine and cosmetology, so you can find it on Navia website or any other European cosmetology websites. This is a 50 milliliter tube, which is enough for maybe even two years. I use it daily at the same time after the shower. I put a small amount on my affected areas and it provides me with enough moisturizing for the whole day. It is also believed to bring collagen into your skin and help your skin to regenerate. 
so far without this gel I felt worse than with it but I can tell you for sure that with gel, using this gel, I can stop using Protopic, which is good because immune suppressants will have some side effects for your health. Not that awful as steroids, obviously, but still they will have it eventually. That's why I really wanted to stop using Tacrolimus after three years and this growth Factor actually provided me with this possibility. Another one product that I use, but I can't show you this because I'm currently out of it, is Lactosid Pharma for sensitive skin. This is an intimate wash that was produced in Europe and it has a pH balance level 3.5 which is perfect for the sensitive skin. I use it on the everyday basis and it doesn't irritate my skin or something. But I have to warn you, in my situation, using the same intimate wash every day for years and years sometimes caused me irritation and I had to change my everyday product for another one just for a short period of time like maybe one month or two months it can happen it's all right you just have to change it then you can return to your normal product but still when you change your products please be careful and take a notion of the ph balance it's very very crucial in case of lichen sclerosis these were all the products i currently use for managing symptoms of lichen sclerosis. What I don't use is bubble baths or shower gels down there because they are too aggressive for inflamed and sensitive skin. One more advice, if you have lichen sclerosis in your anal area as well, the skin there becomes thin and using the toilet can be sometimes very painful or even can cause some tearings. So what to do in this case? As strange as it will sound from me, I recommend you to use corticosteroids like hydrocortisone. You can use it up for seven days until this micro tearing goes away. But please don't overuse it. That's pretty much it. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button to always see new videos from me. See you next time. Bye.